After nearly 20 years, authorities are renewing their investigation into how a woman's body ended up in Steuben County in 1999, and it was just this morning that police released her identity. Wayne 15's Ruben Salish joins us in studio with a closer look at the case. Yes, Kaitor, this morning the Steuben County Sheriff's Office identified the woman as 36-year-old Tina L. Cavanaugh. She's from the Detroit area and was reported missing to the Detroit Police Department in July of 1999, but she was never found. But here's what we know about the case. It was on September 6th of 1999 that the Steuben County Sheriff's Office got a call about a body being found in a field northeast of Angola. That location was two and a half miles east of I-69, north of County Road 200 North, which is the present-day Glendaren Hills Golf Course. You see it on the map. Police determined that her body had been in that field for about six to eight weeks before it was found. Then an autopsy was done here in Fort Wayne, and since day one, her death was ruled as highly suspicious, but the cause was still undetermined. After that, the woman's body was sent to an FBI lab in Virginia for more testing and forensics were able to put together this sketch with it. The sheriff's office received hundreds of leads which they investigate to identify her body but weren't able to. In 2007, DNA was collected from the body and entered into the National Missing Persons DNA database, but for years, nothing. Fast forward to 2018. After more advanced DNA testing was done, investigators were able to track down a potential daughter of the victim. They did some tests, and it was a match. Now that Kavanaugh has been identified, the Steuben County Sheriff's Office is planning to keep investigating how she died. We'll be speaking to the sheriff tomorrow, and right now you can find all the details of the story on Wayne.com. In studio, Ruben Solis, Wayne 15 News.